a lot of us truthers don't really have all the answers. And we don't even know the whole story. But what we do know, <laughs> to different degrees, is that this government is definitely not the American government they pretend to be in the news. All this, you know, fairness and, and, and we make mistakes and things. There's, there's, you know, criminals, isolated cases. It's a lie. It's organized crime. When you have the military watching a 10-year-old little boy, me when I was 10, a 10-year-old little boy stalking a child and then doing a whole bunch of, I'll leave it there, just, just torturing you know, a 10-year-old little American kid. As he's growing, he's going through all these different psyops that he doesn't even know is going on. He just, you know, but nevertheless, it's organized. It's criminal. It's a violation of human rights, a violation of the Constitution. Attempted murder, last year, it escalated up to attempted murder several times. The perpetrators are not in prison. No one got arrested. No one went to jail. And there was no investigation. Nothing went down. Because the people that run the United States are the ones that are behind these programs. And if they get caught, not only do they lose their position, but they go to prison. In most cases, they would actually be executed under the treason laws. These are, these are a hardcore treason. You cannot, in America, society with the Constitution built on freedom, you cannot legally gang stalk a person for 38 years. And, I, and, and there's even evidence that this might even go back further to when I was three years old. We were taken down into the canyon. Me and my sister tortured the therapist, the kids, the whole way. The things that went on afterwards seemed almost like a skit, like they were working together, you know. But I got the call when I was 10. That confirmed it. And then there's all these weird people in windows, people coming to my place, uh, all this uh, theater. But yeah, I think, you know, and, and as a victim of gang, of gang stalking, as a victim that was almost murdered last year, I have the right to tell anybody that's being gang stalked that you might get killed. They tried to kill me last year. So I have the right to say that now. I couldn't say that before, but because I was almost murdered because they tried to kill me a few times last year, I can actually tell people that if you're being gang stalked, you have a legal right to defend yourself. And not tomorrow, but now. Because you never know when they're going to kill you. Okay? They were gang stalking me. I thought I was safe. They did this giant theater thing. A few nights later, they have two guys trying to sneak in my window and kill me. See, I thought they were just being cute, having this giant theater party next door and being friendly and just, you know, it was kind of silly. Then two days later, they have... Marine guys trying to come to my window and kill me and my brother. Now, if that's not traumatizing, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an American citizen. This is going on in America by the American military. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I guess you call it a whistleblower. I'm a witness to this. This is what I went through in San Diego. San Diego Police Department is working with the military and black ops programs against different civilians. They're violating our rights. I mean, people don't want to hear this. You're, you know, most people go to work. They go to Starbucks. They get their food. They got kids, they got their sons in Little League, they got... And this is what all people in America need to know, that this government's doing this to us. I'm a victim, I'm speaking out, I'm just telling you the truth. I'll swear on the Bible, I'll take a polygraph test. This government is torturing a lot of us. They're terrorizing us. They're causing us a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, and a lot of, uh, a lot of pain. But I want everyone to know there, I will never kill myself. I will never break the law. Um, so they can't spin that kind of stuff on me. So those, those, are, those are facts. But I just want to tell you, Americans out there, what's going on in our country right now as of 2018. What is 